more than 100 soldiers from the 1st Battalion, the Coldstream Guards, have arrived back in Aldershot today after a six-month tour of duty in Helmand. The obvious relief at their return was tinged with sadness over the deaths of five men during their time in Afghanistan. For Forces News, Hugh Kirby reports. Grey sky, grey drizzle, but nobody cares. They have waited six months for this moment. End of tour. 120 soldiers from Number 1 Company, 1st Battalion, Coldstream Guards, are reunited with their families. It's great coming back in, uh, friends and family out. It's, it's really good stuff to see everyone here. All the, all the lads that had to come back early as well, for um, various reasons, so it's, it's just mega. Absolutely brilliant. Long time coming, but I'm glad. <laughs> this one here is my little daughter Amy. Um, I've been waiting. Since coming back four and a half, four months since Christmas, um, actually, absolutely see them, you know. Uh, it's my little angel. The Coldstream Guards is the oldest corps in continuous existence in the British Army. They are a proud regiment. They are proud of their achievement in Afghanistan. Very emotional, actually, when you uh, come in the coaches, come around the corner, everyone there cheering, absolutely fantastic. Uh, and really good for the guys to see that kind of reception when we come back. <laughs> Despite these happy scenes, every single soldier is painfully aware of their five comrades who could not be here today. Five comrades killed by improvised explosive devices, the last just 28 days ago. That was Guardsman Michael Sweeney. On February the 18th, Lieutenant Dougie Dalzell was killed. One week earlier, Lance Corporal Darren Hicks died from his injuries from another IED. Last year, the 30th of November, Acting Sergeant John Amer was killed. And on October the 8th, an IED killed Lance Corporal James Hill. It's been tough, but uh, we've achieved a lot. And I think we need to look at it and what we've achieved uh, in our particular area around Patrol Base 4 in Babaji. Um, and what we've achieved for the, uh, for the Afghan nationals, as well as how we've brought on the Afghan National Police and the Afghan National Army. After a few days' administrative duties, they will go on leave. The next time they see each other is likely to be at a memorial service for those who died. Hugh Kirby, Forces News, Aldershot.